have you actually noticed this unexpected surprises, changes, decision making, and also just like, oh my God, what's going on up there? Like, wow, what's happening with people out there? Have you been re receiving weird messages or watching people on the street fighting and going crazy and all this stuff last few days? Somebody from the past who either you like so much or the person likes you so much suddenly reach out to you and want some extra attention from you without knowing why. Watch this video till the end because I'm giving you very much helpful, insightful, astral information about this the new moon in Capricorn on 26 degree that's happening right now today since 2, 6 17 p.m. Vancouver Pacific mm. Peace be with you. This is Mia, your dance life coach, your transformational miracle worker, the founder of Kizomba Cafe and Kizombaology from Vancouver, Canada. My dear friends, today is a special day. I'm making this exclusive video, not audio, not the full moon report, but it's a new moon video reporting, giving you a little insightful information about what the heck is going on in the air these past few days. I've been receiving so many messages, way more than usual, and I'm bombarded with like the questions of like, please help me what's going on. Please hang in there. Me, myself, have been, have been going through a little bit of like, wow, Roblox, surprises and all that. And it's worldwide. So many people are getting influenced by this energy right now, which really, really, really provoked me to, at the end, making this video so that some of us, especially the ones that are hardcore followers of uh, astrology, can watch this and go, okay, now I understand why. And also, you know what, at the end of the, the video, if you watch it, you're gonna know why knowing every bit of this information can help you so much. What's going on? What are the planets? And why do you need to understand about astrology? How astrology can help you? My story, simple and short. It helps me, it helps me, it has helped me to know how to prevent and also to set goals or remove myself from situations where it's not worth my energy or my emotions or with people or with events or whatever. And also it does really help me to have a so-called an idea and preparation to know, okay, how I'm gonna resolve that problem when it does happen. So there's so much good things to know about knowing your birth chart. That way you can actually understand about what is your actual full potential, your skill, and also your life purpose when you come to this life. What areas and what energy can you produce on certain spot in your life that you actually will feel better about yourself and also your life instead of feeling like always swimming wondering and then when things are happening relationships happen um, work you know some other stuff happen you feel trapped you feel like now what right let's look into what are the reasons the planets this time right now are playing the tricks on our lives influencing and creating this chaotic bah, bah, bah. so much going on last few days since sunday this energy is gonna last from now till february the 15th, which is going to be a solar eclipse. That's going to be another transition. And we are also going with the super moon. I think it's a super full moon. You actually have Capricorn in your sun, ascendant or moon sign. T pay attention to this period right now, especially right now, because the Capricorn is actually in this full moon, uh, new moon energy. New moon is about rebirth, renew, rebuild, new ideas, new path right brand new 28 days of cycle so you actually have a, a chunk of time to decide what you want to do for your next few months and the reason why you are feeling a little bit like oh something's going on you know the air energy people because we are dealing with sun is actually in alignment conjuncting with the new moon okay and we also have uranus and also mars so i want to actually go into a little um explanation here about why 
some people say they don't believe in astrology they don't believe in planet they think i'm crazy when i talk about it let me ask you a question and either this is for people who believe in like the spiritual things or not i 100 percent guarantee most on this planet agree with me right here right now that we go to sleep what in the evening when it's dark we wake up in the morning because it's sunny right the sun sun give us energy sun actually help to produce crops vegetables just there's so much what sun does for us you cannot explain that we do believe it's there because it's sun that's why we say sunday sunny day right you know you've been out there do your thing use your energy to produce to create your your career to do stuff and then you get tired in the evening because the sun is gone now the body go veggie that's why we sleep at e in the evening to recharge there are other planets in this universe we cannot really see them like that big because they are far far away but the effect they have on us each individually is exactly the same but differently they do different jobs for us that's why astrology astrologists talk about planets the positions and these and that houses like you guys are crazy no because it's been done studied and also has the tracking from the history thousands of years let's talk about sun first sun is a fire element energy a aspect of sun okay what does it symbolize creativity success fatherhood like masculine creates solid contentment of energy think about this feeling these past few days i want to create i want to be successful i really want to get there i really want to have this creativity these ideas or whatever i crave for i want to make it happen that's what sun is doing to us the influence uranus actually symbolized unexpected and surprise and invention and also change so many of you have come be complained or also share with me your desire about wanting to change your career your your partner <laughs> like your love relationship and also you want to just do something new different that is what uranus energy is and now that's going to mars mars energy i like mars a lot because it has that this how do you call that very clear concrete black and white energy meaning the positive and also the negative influences the negative one of it is aggression conflict and lust and the positive side of it is something to do with love and also help you with your money I want you to go back to since sunday until today okay january um 14 till 16 today these last few days any of you have you felt one you want to create you want to get out there you want to be like 2018 is my year i'm not longer want to sit on the on the, the couch waiting for the thing to come to me now i'm gonna go there and get them okay that's one emotion second is i would like to do something new i'm not happy with what i'm doing right now i feel like it's more for me to explore and i also feel like i need that change in order to make my life or myself feel better right then this is energy oh my god i like that guy oh my god i love that girl mm, i wish i could have more with her or him what if you know we get married or we become boyfriend girlfriend Ooh, that would be nice Ooh, what about actually i reach out to her or him and tell that person i actually like him or her maybe something's gonna happen maybe there's a possibility because i feel it i feel it the last i mentioned earlier this other side of it like the love feeling of like oh i love to i would love to create this i would love to see what else is there right and money i want to make more money i want to make more money there's more thing i want to do that will help me to save more money because i have this new idea new dream to accomplish every single thing i've mentioned so far has sun uranus and mars energy i just mentioned to you earlier this is the reason why these things are so brilliant why astrology is so freaking hot awesome a client of mine is supposed to meet me today and now think about the elements i talked to you earlier to see how this story resonates with that she said to me i'm sorry i'm feeling so sick i cannot get out of the house because i've been vomiting throwing up and my stomach is just hurting so much bro i think i need to stay home i need to cancel 
my service with you today because I'm really not feeling well. And I told her, it's okay, don't worry about it. Do your thing and I can totally understand how you feel. It's okay. I lay down because I was really worried about her and I said, you know what, I'm gonna actually do her a favor. I called her up and I told her, hey, you know what, because you have Capricorn in your sun sign, you also have Capricorn in your few other different planets. And I say, hey, no wonder you are feeling it this way. And guess what? Because she, she has health. And also she has another planet that's in her 12th house. And they are all, all of them are actually in one, one, one house. It's very, very destructive. And you know, 12th house actually rules your self-sabotaging in the negative term. Self-sabotaging and also solitude. Like you want, you want to get away from people. Poor girl, she's got so many Capricorns in different elements. That's why she's being challenged so much with her physical body right now, her health. And earlier I talked about unexpected, right? Uranus, because Uranus also in, is in her 12th house, getting bombarded with all this that's happening right now in the air. Myself, I had a family member phone me out of nowhere and wanting to vent, talk about issues, something that's nothing to do with me. And I noticed that from the get-go that this might t turn out to be something else, but I still give the time to the person to talk about the person's you know, concerns. But at the end of the conversation, I start to feel really draining and I didn't know what to do. I say, you know what, even though it's a family member, but I really got nothing to do with the issues. I'm not gonna be put up with you know all this like, negative energy. So I told the person kindly, like, there's not much I can really do for you. So could you actually please just focus on the result and not to keep on going back to the past because it's nothing gonna really help you, right? And at that moment, I decided I have to cut off the conversation because it's not really good for anybody, right? And because I was aware about what's the energy going on today, so I wasn't really taking it personal because otherwise usually I would get like, why are you talking like that with me? You have no right at all. It's not my problem. But funny enough, when I actually go home, thought about it. Fourth house, my fourth house in my astrology, um, my personal charts. Fourth house actually rules home, family, parents, and roots, and also inner security. And it's actually Mars is in the fourth house. My Mars is in the fourth house. And I was like, ah, that's exactly why this is happening to me because Mars aggressive conflict and also like, you know, it's like wanting to get more love, right? Remember I told you about this positive and negative threat of each um, planet. This thing is related to just like, it's funny how this conversation stuff like that was really involved with a little bit of money situation, also attention and stuff like that. So I was like, wow, it's crazy. It was so unexpected, like the Uranus energy and now this got this other stuff going on. So I said to myself, thank God I didn't take it personal because you know this is, is it is what it is, right? So I'm giving you these examples is because this is the reason why I'm saying astrology really helps because when you understand it's a different perspective to think in life when we actually have no other way to think about life, when we actually have tried to use other hobbies or other escape tools to get away from our emotional turbulence. If you understand about your own chart, or you can actually use this for your own advantage, um, where and how to put your energy into producing something that has long-term and also positive result. And my dear friends, I make this video really is coming from thinking about it for a couple of hours, thinking, should I mention it? only for certain people or just throw it out there. And I decided since this is the timing of new birth, this is the timing of this new moon, this timing about putting your desire out there and just go for it, your creativity and success. It's time for me today also to take this opportunity to tell you, I can help you if you hire me as your mentor by doing your chart for you. I don't charge much, it's a very decent amount of money, but I spend a good chunk of time with you to teach you and share with you of everything I know about your chart that you can actually understand, oh, no wonder, I've been doing this job for 10 years and it never worked because your actual talent, hidden talent that you never knew before was actually for another job. 
and that is the beauty and power of this or for example if you always want to find a love like the love of your life it doesn't matter what you try you try you try it doesn't work because there's other element in your chart that you need to work on first you need to find out first how to overcome those challenges then when it's complete then your true love will actually show up and i know it sounded kind of like eh, what are you talking about this and that bullshit excuse my french but it does really help because once you are prepared for yourself and understand about what areas of your life you need to grow and then be honest with yourself and be honest with other people be emotionally okay to express your feelings okay can i repeat that again until we are able to be honest with ourselves even being judged doesn't matter who you are encounter with you can never be happy and complete because always you're going to be pointing your finger to other people and thinking that you're okay those energy to something else will help you even better trust me on that every time when you make a decision on doing something in life make sure it's coming from the place not taking advantage of other people and not also giving away yourself in a way that people taking advantage of you it has to come from middle way then you have to show yourself with self-respect okay until then don't forget i really truly love you no matter what happens i'm here if you don't have money to you know afford to hire me as your mentor that's okay too you can watch this video continuously connecting with me through this energy as you mentioned this energy really helped you a lot i really appreciate some of you who actually messaged me these past two weeks with the compliments i get a lot of positive compliment that helps me to really understand that this work of making the videos are really positive and it's you know serving the good purpose of helping you guys and if you want to know more about astrology stuff you can watch this stuff or privately message me do a service and we go from there how is that please take care of yourself and wait till february the 15th allow the love from your heart to be able to reach to other people then you will actually feel much better okay i love you guys and live love dance like a dancing heart ciao mm.